Everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, July the 17th. Jill Womack is with us, the Trips Lady. Good Hi. to have you here, Jill It's great Womack. to be here. Thanks so much. Gosh, we go back so many, 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 so many years. So many, many years. <laughs> it makes it sound old, doesn't it? I know. Jill Womack, uh, Trips Theater Institute at Stevens College. And you've got two productions you want to talk about today. We are in high gear, I must tell you. Yeah, we've got Heather's is opening this week, and it's based on that fabulously dark, comedy, the 80s cult classic movie, Heather, starting, starring Winona Ryder mm-hmm. and Christian Slater. And it is full of rock and roll music that's wonderful, but it's got a great message because it's about dealing with cliques and changing your personality to suit other people and friends making bad choices and how do you grapple with being a teenager. And it's really a great musical with a great message. So and it's opening when? It's opening on Thursday night. It runs Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock in the wonderful Warehouse Theater at Stevens. And these are all young people, ages yes. what? So they're going into ninth grade in early college. And so they are, that's what I love about about this slot in our season, it's called Trips Edge. So it's chosen for the young adult audience and to be performed by the kids that it's written for. Usually with Heathers, you see you know, folks in their late 20s and early 30s playing these great um, high school characters. And in this case, it's the high school students playing the roles that were yeah. written for them. Yeah, yeah. okay. Th- so you've got that now, and then? Next weekend, we're really changing gears and going under the sea with <laughs> Disney's Little Mermaid with our younger kids. And they're in grades three through nine, and it's just such wonderful fun. And I love the Warehouse Theater because it's three, a three-sided theater. And so for our audience, it's almost like being in the play and being on the stage with us. And it's great. And so that one's an hour. And if you just sit in your chair and don't try and boogie to under the sea and kiss the girl, I just don't know. It's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> you got a, it's a lot of music. A lot of music. And a lot that wasn't in the film. It's got a really great 50s doo-wop song in it and really fun. And the costumes, Nicole. Cole Beasley is our wonderful resident costume designer, and holy moly. So how many kids yeah. are in this one? Almost 30. Altogether, how many young people do you work with within a year's period? About 1,000. Oh, my goodness. I know, and I love it. I love our whole team. Everybody loves working with them. No, 1,000 or any of those repeat kids? Mm, a few are, yeah. But like this summer, we've got three more weeks of camp coming up. So we've got an Avengers theme, a Jumanji theme, and an Incredibles theme. But with the whole summer camps, we'll have about 250 students there. And almost all of them are brand new to us. Or, you know, they may only have time to fit theater in in the summertime. Mm-hmm. So we get to revisit some with, with some old friends coming back. Is there still time to register if Absolutely. they want Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And so tickets you can get online at www.tripskids.com mm-hmm. or you can just call our office at 449-4536 and we'd be happy to talk to you. Okay. Uh, and and for the summer camp, if they want to register? Yeah, just jump online. W- jump w- online. Jump online. <laughs> www.tripskids.com. Or call the office. Yes, yes. Okay. And our teachers are great this year. They're all of our wonderful teachers, our theater students who have grown up in the TRIPS program. We've known some of them since they were four and they're coming back in teaching now for us as um, as wonderful teachers. Isn't it great? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and you're a pretty great lady, too. Oh, well, it's a whole village over at Trips, and it's pretty Thank fabulous. Thanks we for love coming it. by. Yeah, okay? absolutely. Continued success. Thank you. And remember, if you want more information or if you want to buy tickets or you want information on the summer camp program, you can go to www.trips, and trips is spelled T-R-Y-P-S, tripskids. Dot com. So Trips Kids is all one word, right? Tripskids.com, and you get all the information you need. Now we're going to talk about the uh, United Heart of Missouri United Way, and we have Andrew Graybaugh with us. Yes. Good to have you good here, good Andrew. Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, you. You've got several things that you wanted to touch on today with United Way, and that's right
writing the grants. That's exactly all, right? right. So as you know, in the fall, we raise uh, community dollars, and then we go through a really elaborate process involving volunteers to help us in making the decisions to make those grants. Mm -hmm. We had a group of volunteers over the spring that spent over 400 hours in going on site visits, reviewing proposals, reviewing financial documents to make recommendations to United Way on how to invest those dollars to help those in poverty and those on the fringes of poverty to make sure that everyone has the opportunity needed to succeed. Mm -hmm. How much money did you raise with the last campaign? Sure. So this last campaign, it was just under $3 million. Um, and so we put those dollars to work. Um, so this year, actually starting on July 1st of this year, we renewed 45 grants um, some of those were new to 33 agencies in Boone, Cooper, and Howard County, which 30, is our 33 service. separate agencies yes, yes. received, and yes, those grants totaled how much? So just uh, just under two million dollars total uh, went to those those agencies. So, and part of that is because the value proposition of United Way, right? We we do give that money to uh, agencies for programs. We also help those agencies in building capacity, and what that means is that we work hand in hand with them in making sure they're as efficient as possible. They can report data on how those programs are working, how many lives they're helping. And we make sure that everyone in the community understands that when we work together, right, this has to be a deliberate theme. When we all work together, that's when we can see the greatest impact and the greatest amount of, of help reaching those who truly are in need. Yeah. And the Columbia, Central Missouri area, not yeah. just Columbia, but the Central Missouri area, is a very giving community. It is. A very yes. caring community. That's it. It, it is. And in fact, among 252 United Ways throughout the United States that are in communities about the size of our community, this United Way, Heart of Missouri United Way, ranks 10th out of 252 mm. when it comes to the amount of donations received per capita, when it comes to also the amount of money that is raised over the last three years, and then finally, the amount that is raised per employee at United Way. So we're a nimble group. We we put our dollars to work, right? And so that's a really proud thing My for goodness, our community. Yes. Yes. So out of how many United Ways? So 252. 252, yes. and you rank... 10th. 10th. Yes. Now that that tells you what kind of community that's right that we live in. Yeah. That tells you what the, the kind of people that we have here in Central Missouri, a very loving, caring, I, I agree. giving people. Let me give you just a fantastic story. So Douglas High School down the street, right? Dr. Erica Neville is fantastic. And their graduation rate has gone from 22 to 84 um, over the last few years. I was with Dr. Neville and we met with a young student who had a $200 paycheck. She lived with another sibling and that was all she had to her name. And she asked, what do I do with this paycheck? Do I cash it for a Walmart gift card? Do I deposit it and litter or cash it and hide it under my mattress? Because of the partnerships that United Way can help foster, we took her to Commerce bank she got a, an account she got help from the food bank she got help from some other agencies as well including love inc this young woman now because of the all hands on deck because of it takes a village is putting this woman on a path to success that's fantastic that's a beautiful story thank you for thank sharing you. i love coming you. on thank you so much it's our pleasure and best of luck when the campaign starts again thank you september 7th that's also day of caring our day wide volunteering anyone can sign up right now by contacting okay. us all right you need to come back before then i will all right we're out of time for today drop me an email pepperp missouri.edu we'll see you tomorrow bye-bye